Hey everyone, we're back again with more milestones and more spreadsheets. Hooray! Everybody's favorite thing, math. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, Cyclops. We have two events, actually. We have one that is opening the Ruby Heart Orbs, which are a new addition to the game. And then the other is uh, Blitzing and doing lots and lots of Blitz. As you can see, I've already done some and done some of the milestones. And I made a spreadsheet out of all the information to show you guys what you need in order to complete this or try to complete it at least uh, <laughs> depending on how much you're willing to blitz and use these characters and get through it so scoring is really simple uh, there's several characters that are valentine's characters and i think it's 27 in total um, and then you win the blitz battles any battle with anyone and you get seven points so what that gives us uh, if we go back over here let's look at the roster real quick and go to valentine at the bottom here it's a new trait we have five which is four of the mist the fantastic four uh, we have another 5, 10, so 15, 20, 25, and then 27 total characters. So for me, I'm only going to run, you know, 25 of them in sets of five that kind of make sense, you know, plus like the Fantastic Four, plus like somebody, you know, like a Gamora that's about similar power. Um, for me, that works really well. Um, since I don't need vision shards, I'm just dropping down to tier two and autoing with the easiest, you know, teams that are similar power at least or you know just makes sense uh starting with the worst teams first so that they get the lower rung of those tiers and the easier matchups and then just working my way up through those five teams and then losing with whoever i'm not using in those those uh teams to lose back down to the bottom tier that's definitely the easiest way to complete this because the milestones there's actually quite a few of them um, so if we look all the way at the bottom here, I did a full rotation and used a bunch of charges on some of these, um, and I'm already at 1,600 points out of 6,000. So that's basically uh, one fourth of the way there already in the first night. So I don't think this will be difficult for most people to hit, which is very nice and very generous. Um, I'm glad that you don't have to agonize over Blitz to you know complete all this stuff and get all these goodies like the ability or advanced basic catalyst, the Cyclops shards, and then of course the extra. Uh, orbs here which will help you with the other um, milestone which is called the heartbreaker milestone so this one's a little different uh, it's opening orbs but it's only the ruby heart orb which is worth 143 points not sure what the significance of that number is but uh, that's what it is as you can see here first couple of milestones give you two shards of cyclops and then it bumps up at milestone seven to three and then we get you know some abcs along the way and then some fours and uh, then you get into the really good stuff so this reminds me of the orb milestone challenge we had recently where the very end of it was extremely hard to get to if you didn't have a million uh orbs already saved up but yes there's quite a few tier 14 unique items here which are extremely valuable right now <coughs> excuse me and so uh it looks kind of interesting but it looks very difficult to do so let's hop over to a spreadsheet here that i got and uh, i just built this tonight to kind of help with understanding what we need to do and how we're going to do it so uh, the very first thing let's look at the blue one first this is the blitz milestones you need 6,000 points and you can see here you get four cyclops shards every single milestone so this is an easy 60 cyclops shards that's you know 60 shards towards the i think it's a hundred shard unlock for him and along the way you also get quite a few ruby orb frags which comes out to about 26,000 total which is 13 total orbs and those 13 orbs of course feed into the other milestones here and what i've done is uh made a handy chart here so that everybody can see uh let me stretch this out a little bit so that my camera is not quite in the way here you can see the edge of it all right, and uh, you can see here, each orb is worth 143. So to hit milestone one and two, you need less than one orb <laughs> because it's uh, those are 50 and 100 point requirements. So you'll need actually two orbs to hit the third milestone. So you can see if it's over the number here, so if it's 1.0, some 
remainder, uh, you'll need the next orb to hit that particular milestone. So that's how this works. And all I'm doing is I'm just taking the current number of points required and dividing it by 143 to figure out what the number is that's required to get to these milestones. So as you can see here, um, you know, getting say 10 orbs is probably not a big deal. Getting to milestone 13, that's about, you know, almost halfway through this. Uh, but as you can see here, farther down, these numbers start to jump. The increments numbers jump. And so the incremental changes how much between each milestone uh, is required to hit the next milestone. And as it goes up, it gets a lot more difficult, but the rewards do get better. Uh, as you can see here at milestone 18, it jumps from three to four shards for Cyclops for each uh, each one that you get. But you'll need about two, two and a half orbs to hit the next milestone and so on. So uh, that's where it gets a little bit more tricky is but when we get to this point, I'm having trouble figuring out where all these orbs are going to come from. So uh, milestone 22, I think, is where most people are going to top out. And let me show you a little bit of the math on this, uh, just to give you an idea of what I'm looking at. So if we scroll over here, um, just values of points per character, points per blitz battle. So five V-Day characters with uh, a win is worth 77 points. Uh, this is for the Blitz milestone. And so if you do that, say five times uh, you know, in a rotation and you win all five of those matches, you're gonna get 385 points. So that would mean that you need about 15 and a half rotations to hit the max, which is 6,000 points, right? So uh, to me, that's not gonna be that difficult. We got the, um, you know, the, the Red Star and Premium Orb uh, Blitz is coming up on Sunday, and then we got two more major Blitzes next week. Of course, just doing milestones, I think, will hit a lot of these. Uh, you know, the Blitz milestones, the actual Blitz, not not these Blitz milestones. There's two different types of Blitz milestones. Anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but that just, that seems very attainable for everybody, right? And so I really like that. That's, that's very realistic. That's something that we would be doing anyway, um, for the most part, if you're consistently, you know, on top of things kind of player and doing, you know, participating in all the activities constantly, then you'll probably get this regardless. Uh, the Ruby orbs though, uh, which drive the red milestone, the, um, Heartbreaker milestone. Uh, those I was looking at. So there is an offer for them. Um, you can get, I think it's seven orbs for $20. And so that comes out to about $2.86 per an orb. Uh, you know, whatever. I'm not really a big fan of buying orbs right now. Um, you know, but uh, if you want, they're actually, and I was considering this one, there's an offer to get two to four ruby orbs for 800 cores for, you know, the in-game currency that you earn through the game. Um, and so I was thinking I might try that. And, you know, even if it's only two, um, if you look down here, um, we can start looking at how many we project to get throughout this event and figure out where we're going to land on this red, uh, red chart over here. So from what I can tell, if I do 30 Blitz wins per day, so that would be a few rotations <laughs> of my characters in total, and just winning on the lowest bracket, just letting it auto run while I'm doing something else and just having to hit the button to keep going. Um, you know, if I can do that, that's that's a lot, but that's, you know, just let's say that's the benchmark. And we're getting, say, 100 orb frags per win, because you do get the orb frags as a drop for every Blitz win. Uh, but they vary from 50 to 2,000 total. I actually did get a 2,000 drop when I did my first rotation tonight, so I was pretty happy about that. Um, but you can see, you know, orbs from Blitz wins then would be about 1.5 uh a day and then you would get say 15 orbs throughout the 10 days of the event um, so that's helpful and then let's say you get you know six from the milestone so each uh each major blitz with characters always has the event orbs in them and you get two full orbs per blitz is what i saw in the the one today or you know the vision one uh, so that would be three blitzes so that'd be six orbs that you can get for doing the milestones then you also get orbs from the uh, beloved battles milestone. So that's what I'm over looking at over here. So that would be 13. So this is, a, I'm trying to get a total count here. Uh, if you buy offers, I'm putting this here, just, you know, if you do that, that's your thing. That's between you and your wallet, not me. <laughs> you can put the numbers in here. So if you're buying the seven orbs, you know, 
type in 7 here, and you'll see at the bottom here, it'll automatically calculate an update. Uh, orbs from the core offer. I'm going to buy that probably for cores and just see if I get 4, I'll put the 4 in here. And then at the bottom, I'll be at, say, 45 orbs if I do all of this. Well, then I can look on my chart over here and see where does 45 fall into, and it's like just shy of the uh, first set of mutant tier 14 gear and to me that's really significant that's actually i'm more interested in getting the tier 14 mini uniques than i am the cyclops shards right now because <laughs> i don't need another character to build i got plenty of them i haven't even started on inhumans <laughs> uh, besides quake who's already built of course um so I'm just like, man, I really want these tier 14s because I want to get into Dark Dimension 3 as soon as possible. Um, so that's what I'm looking at. But uh, I made this calculator just for helping people out. Hopefully, uh, you know, this is something that you guys can use. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or if I got an error on it, just let me know. Uh, but for the most part, you know, I'm ignoring the extra loots over here except for the tier 14 stuff. Uh, you get some ABCs along the way. You get some milestone orbs and all that. That's great. Uh, hopefully there's another avenue for getting more ruby orb fragments because right now, I mean, uh, you know, for me, I'm projecting maybe I'm probably going to do, you know, 25 blitzes a day wins. So that'd be 12 and a half orbs with so six from milestones, you know, the 13 from the blitz milestones, and then maybe get four from core offers. And I'll be at 35, which is right around t milestone 22. So that's where I'm going to be. And I mean, I'd love to push and get up to, you know, obviously 75 is a little ridiculous. You need actually 76 orbs to complete the entire list because 75 will get you 25 points short of the uh, final milestone there, which is kind of lame. But just FYI, if you are a whale and you're pushing for that, good luck. Um, but I would love to get some of these mutant T4s, um, most, mostly because... Uh, you know, I'd love to get Sinister at tier 14. I love that character. He's a lot of fun. And uh, I don't have the mini uniques anymore because I use them all in Phoenix. <laughs> Who has my priority? But this is, I'd love to get into this area. Then, you know, getting skill uniques means that, you know, I could probably put up somebody like Nick Fury into tier 14. Um, or maybe somebody that's, uh, you know, City or something like that that might be useful. Like Punisher would be useful. Uh, but that's what I'm looking at. Uh, but you can see here, it's going to be really, really difficult to get these other later milestones unless they add another avenue for getting these ruby miles or ruby orbs uh, if it's core offers every day well i can only buy those for so many days even if i do get you know four drops every time uh, but that's going to be tough to do so i uh, just wanted to make this and uh, give people a chance to try to plot out where they expect to fall on the milestone charts and set the expectations um, I think it's really, really important to see this stuff and be able to visualize it ahead of time and kind of plan it. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get it, you know, towards the end of the event and be trying to claw and reach for that next milestone. It may not be available but uh, or attainable, depending on uh, what your situation is. Or it'll be like, hey, you know, dangling this offer in your face saying, hey, why don't you get that next milestone, huh? You know, give us money. <laughs> That seems to be how it goes these days. But anyway, um, so I'm just going to share this. I'll put the link in the description of this video. Uh, let me know if you have questions, comments, or any uh, you know additions that you think should be added to it. And uh, if there's any major changes to this or a new Ruby uh, orb source, I will update it and add it in here. But uh, I don't foresee that happening. So... <laughs> We'll have to see. But good luck out there. Hopefully y'all get Cyclops and uh, get these potentially 160 whole shards for him, which would be pretty badass. But uh, don't think many people are going to reach these back milestones. So we'll see. All right, guys. Good night.